Hi, God bless you everybody. I hope all you all are having a wonderful start to your day so far. Um, for those who are re watching this video in the afternoon, I pray that your day is going by well. <laughs> but um, okay, so I want to really um, speak something that's been ministering to me a lot lately. Uh, well, since yesterday. <laughs> and um, so let's get to it. So the theme is, are you ready to have to want what God has for you? Now, I've noticed that many people, I posted a status up um, a couple months ago, and I said, and it, and, it, and it read, I want what God has for me. About a hundred people, or a little more than that, liked my post. And I'm just like, you know, it came to my mind just right now, like, wow, do they all know what that means? Do they all know what it means to want what God has for them? And I don't think a lot of people understand what it means to want what God has for them. Sometimes you think that, you know, it's your own dreams, it's your own um, desires um, that God has for you. But in reality, it's none of that. Uh, and I'm going to read you a verse. And then from there, I'm going to continue speaking. Because I believe that this is something that many people need to understand. That when it comes to wanting what God has for you, it means to give up your life fully for Christ. So that He can, so that he can start working in you so, that you. so He can use you for His glory and not for your own. Okay, so let's read Matthew chapter 16, verse um, 24. Let's read to 24 to 27. I believe, let's, yeah, 20, 28, 28, verse 24 to 28, okay? So we're going to read the word, name, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Um, then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Um, amen. So that's where we're going to stop. So, you know, this came to mind yesterday. I was I was out to dinner with some brothers and sisters. I mean, I didn't tell them what, what was in my mind. I was meditating on this, and I was on my way home from, from you know, from going out to dinner. And I even came home waking up, thinking about meditating on the same thing. And I'm like, Wow. You know, um, before, when I was, you know, before the Lord has ca called me, um, you know, to, to, to seek him wholeheartedly, I wanted to pursue my, my career in the fashion industry. My whole mindset was set on that. That's where I felt, I'm like, this is where I want to be. But things didn't make sense. I'm like, if this is where God wants me to be, then 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 how am I supposed to glorify him? How are people supposed to know who who, who he is? And, and the Lord started to change me from there. He started to remove my love for fashion I started feeling convicted I started feeling like like I, I didn't belong there and I'm just like wait a second I'm supposed to be different I'm supposed to be different I'm supposed to be a light so people can see where the light is among amongst the darkness this is what I'm supposed to do and 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 this and this verse here tells you that you have to be able to give up all that you have to live for Christ because when you give up your life then you find it because that's when Christ comes in and he identifies you he identifies you and he shows you what where what he has for you and then all of a sudden I started thinking about Matthew um, and, and all the other disciples, how the Lord told them to, 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 pay, to, 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 to stop what they were doing, to follow him. So that means that our own desires, our own desires and what we want, what we believe that God has for us, we think that's what God has for us. And in reality, no, he's going he's, he's to want you to strip away your life. He's going to want you to, 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 to start brand new, to seek him because what God has for you is in the spirit. It's in the spiritual. And what God has for you, you're going to have to deal with the process. You're going to have to go through some trials so God can sanctify you. What God has for you is for you to be the light in the darkness. It's not, it's not going to be about your desires and, and, and all that you want. No, he wants you to die from you. Because in order for you to die from you, that's when you become the light. That's when, you, well, that's when those people who are in the darkness will, will be able to see the light. The thing is, is that in this day, is that we believe that um, that that we that we, it's okay for us to be in the darkness as long as God is in our hearts, and that and that that's it. But how is that? If God God created this world, He wants the world to know who He is, 
and we're battling against good and evil in this world. Do you think that God is going to be okay with you doing whatever you want to do with just him in your, in, 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 in your heart, well, in your mind, thinking that it's okay? No, we are called to make a difference. We are called to make a difference in this world. We are called to do things of the supernatural for God to use us as his instrument. See, that's the thing. When I started, well, when I started meditating on that, right before the Lord started changing me, I'm like, no, I don't want to be on my deathbed looking back into my life and, and telling myself, Amy, you didn't allow God to use you the way he wanted to use you. Because that's the thing, the enemy even plants those things into our minds to make us believe that, that, that our careers and everything is what God has for you. But the thing is, there's nothing wrong with having a career. It's where is your mind amongst that career? Is your mind idolizing what, what, what your career, uh, of your career or, or is your mind focused on Christ? Because God can use you in that field too to minister to those lives as well. But where is your mind? Are you submitting to God? Have you died fully of yourself? Have you become selfless? Have you become Christ-like? Has, has God put you into, into that process? Have you died from all your desires and all those things that's within you? Have you died from them? Ask yourself. Because I remember when I was in that moment and I thought, and I, and I meditated on that, and I'm just like, no, really? Like, am I really going to live my life? And I'm going to make my dreams come true. Well, you know, with me being in the fashion industry. And that is all. And in, that, my, in the back of my mind, I'm like, really, Amy? Imagine you doing that. And you're on your deathbed. And you look back. And, and you tell yourself. And you wonder how God would have used you if you just completely surrendered. Right now, I can say that I, give it, I have given up with God. What I felt was what I thought God had for me. Because it didn't make sense. Now I understand what God has for me. Because what happened, what's happening is, now that I completely surrendered to Christ, that light is shining and people are seeing. Those people who are in need are seeing and they're being attracted to that light. And they want to know the way. They want to know who God is. Now listen, when you say that you want what God has for you, remember, it's not going to be about you. It's going to be about God. When you say you want what God has for you, it's not going to be of this world, of this, 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 in, in the natural like world. It's going to be of the supernatural. He's going to want to lift you up in the spirit, and that means for you to seek the things of the spirit. He's going to want you to seek the things of the spirit so that you, you so that God can can begin to manifest things in the spirit because we are all His instruments. Now I want you guys to meditate on that. If you want what God has for you. Ask yourselves, am I ready? Am I ready? Because when you really mean that with all your heart and you mean that with all your soul, the Lord will put you through a process and he'll make you understand that he is God and he's going to show you how to serve him. And it's a beautiful thing to serve the Lord, especially to the youth, guys. To us youth, it's beautiful to serve the Lord. It's beautiful because then the Lord uses us as an instrument, as a light to attract those who are in the darkness. And let me tell you, half of this population is in the darkness and you guys don't even know it because you're so focused on thinking that what God has for you is what you want for yourself. It's not what you want because what you want is not what God wants. And what God wants is not what you want for yourself. That's why you need to get in the spirit so that when, when you realize what God wants for you, you're going to desire the things of the spirit. You're going to understand who God is and you're going to want more of him. Because right there, that fire begins to burn within you and you're going to want more of him. Just tell people that, listen, God exists. God exists. God is real. And we're fighting against the evilness of this dark world. It's real. Do you understand? That what God has for you is not what you want for yourself. Because in the beginning, what I wanted for myself, I wanted fashion. I wanted to be someone in the fashion industry. Whatever it was, I believed that it was that, that, that was for me. I'm like, no, this is what God has for me. But God changed me. He allowed me to meditate and may help me understand this is not where you belong. 
because many of us want to make a difference, but we're still in the midst of that darkness. It's time to, be, to, 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 to seek the things of, of God so that we can really be who God wants us to be. We're not going to understand it, but it says here, for whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me will find it. What is good? What, what good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Some of us want to hold on to what we believe is what God has for us. And it says that whoever wants to save his life will lose it. You want to save that desire of yours? You want to save that desire? That, that, that vision of yours and what you believe God has for you? Or are you willing to give your life to God and say, listen, this is what I have. If this is not what you want, teach me what I should want. Teach me what, what, what I should desire. So that, Lord, you can begin to manifest in me. So you can be, begin to minister to me. What is it that you want out of me? I'm not saying that what you, you might have in mind to do something really beautiful. I'm not saying it's bad, but is your focus on God? Are you truly surrendering yourself to God? And because even because, let's say you say you love God, if you love God and, you know, I was like that before. I was like, no, I believe that God is with me, you know, and I, and I, I as long as my heart is, is good, that's what I believe, that's, that was my mentality. It was like, I believe God is with me and, um, and I, I just pursued my career but I continued doing things that didn't honor God and, you know, it's, I wasn't really being used by him. What's the point of seeking God if you're not going to be really used by him? I mean, there's a point you can, obviously, there, God is amazing. And, you know, but the thing is, my, my point is, is that, you know, we say we want to live our lives the way we want to live it and just say, you know, that we have a relationship with God. And then, then you're, you as an instrument, you're just on the corner. You're in the corner pushed aside and you're not being used. But God wants to fill us up because we're, li we're living in an evil world right now. And, and God wants to fill us up. He wants us to, to give up all our desires. He wants us to lose our lives for him in a way where we, we, we die from our desires. We die from everything. And we allow God, even though it hurts, we allow God to be that center so that he can drive us, so he can be our, our lead. Not our own desires, not our own emotions, not our own thoughts, but he can be our lead. And God can lead us in a way that we should go. So are you ready to have what God has for you? Or are you just saying that? God bless you.